own budgetary crisis. So in 2010, let's get into some report cards. Uh, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave Pennsylvania a D minus for the state of our roads and a D minus for the state of our transit systems on its infrastructure report card. The report card, of course, measures the infrastructure throughout our Commonwealth, and it is telling that we have serious transportation issues, not in any one specific area, but in every corner of this state, and we can't wait until disaster happens to take action. The bottom line is the economy is still shaking. It's doing a little bit better. But if we invest in infrastructure, we're investing in our future, we're making our roads and bridges safer, uh, we're creating jobs here in our state. So we can't wait any The last time we came together, the bicameral manner, was at the governor's budget address. And he told us that transportation is outside of the budget process. Quite honestly, that is outside the scope of reason. As we continue to delay action, uh, Pennsylvanians suffer. Our economy suffers, and Pennsylvania falls behind. It's time to act. It's time to lead. And the calls aren't just coming from our side, the Democratic side of the partisan aisle. Chamber groups, engineering groups, and Republican leaders have all joined the chorus for action on transportation funding.